Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. We are continuing on with Base Motel, Season 2, Episode 10, called The Immutable Truth. <clears throat> but first, what happened in the last episode? Norman is aware that he killed Miss Watson now. Um, and also Dylan possibly killed Ford. Was mm -hmm. he dead? He looked dead, but I don't think he just... It didn't look like a killable punch. How he hit him? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. hit. I don't know. I think it would be more interesting if he's not dead. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I don't know what would happen, but you can do more with that. But if he is dead, then he did what... Um, Zane <clears throat> told him to do. Yeah. Right? Oh, and also Romero's heading towards wherever the fuck they are. Mm -hmm. He was heading towards Ford's, right? Yeah. Because he had um, Norman, and I don't know, just can't wait to see what happens with Romero and what he knows. Yep. Right? Yeah, and what goes on with uh, Norman. Exactly. No. Um, but I think that's all that happened. Anything else? No, you? those are like the big things. All right, well, let's get started. Let's go. Romero. Oh, he's... Wait. He got up. Oh, no, that's oh, Dylan. Oh, that's Dylan. Oh, fuck. Oh, he ran into him right after what happened. Big Four's dead. I just killed him. Oh, fuck. He's got Norman, but I don't know where. He just, like, he spilled just it. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Dylan. <laughs> Romero's just like, all right, let's go. <laughs> He's just going to confess everything. They probably already found him, huh? Oh, they probably went running after him. And they're not there. Yeah, he's Holy dead. Holy fuck, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, fuck. He took out the competition. No respect for the dead, huh? I don't stay down. Hands up. up. He's trying to get some money before... Whoever said... Damn! Said All of this is over. You get that. Right? I know you do because you're looting your boss's safe. So don't yeah. piss me off and force me to shoot you. There's Norman Bates. Hey, is she in the dick? Oh, okay. <laughs> he's like <laughs> aiming down. I'm like, he's gonna shoot him in the dick. No, he's, <laughs> you always think they're going for the dick. Going like, for the knee, probably. The worst place you can shoot, <laughs> dude. How's this skin not looking like a raisin? Right. Norman! Back up, back up, back up. Jesus. That's some good aim right there. <laughs> oh my god, his face. We got you, really. Oh, yeah. You're right. We got you, lad. He's hugging this monster little brother. Yeah. Romero's interesting because even though he's trying to do the right thing, he might bend rules to get farther, you know? Yeah. Like, is he just going to be like, I killed Nick Ford in the middle of everyone? <laughs> I love you, Dylan. I love you so much. He's still really uncomfortable, huh? Yeah. I, I had these dreams. Norman, don't talk about it now. Memories. No. Can you tell me about the dreams later? They're just dreams. Mm. She's still trying to protect them. She's going to tell him to brush them off because he was in such a um, traumatic experience. Right? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> he just had the stomach flu. It got so bad. We oh, yeah, and his face is all fucked now. up. When did you get the stomach flu? I thought yesterday you couldn't find him. Sucks. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> Dude, hello, like nothing. Come on, we're almost up these damn steps. He's probably gonna try to do something about it, huh? Talk to. He might open up to her. Yeah. So she doesn't leave. Oh Please. shit. She doesn't look happy. Oh, because nope. of this brother. Christine, you know, I'm just curious. Am I one of those people who just sleepwalks through life? It was oh. out of context. Yeah, I was upset. You were upset? I'm so sorry. I thought you had just gotten a bad rap and you needed some good friends, but you are a train wreck. Don't oh, talk to shit. Me again. I actually do feel bad for her a little for bit. Christine? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you, Mother. 
Come on. And something I began to realize when I was in that box. Norman, he already talked to me about it. God damn it, Blair Norman, Watson shut the fuck up and listen. The semen sample. I, it doesn't mean anything except that she was seducing young boys. You slept with her, you didn't kill her. Um. I think I did, Mother. You were out of your mind hallucinating. No, you were listening to me. Okay, it wasn't a hallucination, it was a memory. I could feel it. It, it happened. Don't act like that. Norma, Norma. Like, like, I'm surprised. <laughs> she actually looks. It makes everything make sense. Like, she's trying yeah, to process. Things when I black out, don't I? That's that's why you wouldn't tell me. Ties. Mother, we have to face Norman, it. Norman, stop it! Stop it right now! Stop! She needs to stop. She needs to that stop shit. it. It's so fucking frustrating, man. What the fuck? <laughs> she will deny it and deny it, even if it's like in her face. Just to still try and protect him from himself. Oh. The fuck? Whose gun is that? I know, I'm trying to remember. Oh, is it from... Whose gun is that? The fuck is he doing? Gonna kill Norma? You should kill Norma. I'm just kidding. Why is he... I don't know. Himself? She's looking for flights. Oh, God damn. She's so over, like, I know. her head that... She just has Norman denial. A scheduled that polygram test. Here's the address, and the date, and the time. I'm sorry, but I may have sent the wrong guy to prison for a crime he didn't do, and I can't live with that. Oh, wow. And the only way I'm not going to reopen this case is if he passes that test. I really thought Romero was going to let it slide. Like, as long as the other guy still went to prison, but. Yeah. I guess not. I mean, he has the semen, so. Yeah. Why is he putting hey. everything away? You think he wants oh, to end himself? How are you feeling? I've been better. I'll tell you, Emma. Let it out. All of Just it. never let Dylan know because it did kill him. Dylan's their child. Oh, shit. That's why we couldn't tell you. Let's say something My else. My mother loves you, Emma. She loves having you here. Damn, he really did talk to her to try and get her to stay. I mean, at the end of the day, I think he, I think he did it more for Norma. Yeah. Because if he goes away, she needs someone. We need to talk. What about Dylan? What? I don't care. Whatever you want to do with him. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Can you come over? She really said I convinced him to. A bit. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck! Oh, wait, 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 wait! What the wait. fuck? Damn, that's like a double. Whoa, what the fuck? He's planning to I turn himself pie. in. You think? I think so. Or fuck, Why'd I don't know. Why look for the gun though? Yeah, maybe not. And that's when he's trying to leave everything in order. I mean, I know Norman doesn't die, but I'm that's dead. sad. You want to dance? Yeah. Like, we used to in the kitchen when I was little. Why do they make you feel sorry for a fucking murderer? <laughs> right? They're giving us all the... the other sides to the monster. You mean everything to me. I love more than my own life. Norma, pick up on what's happening. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Oh! Told Zane you. Zane flipped it on them. Oh, there goes her, guys. You got any guns anywhere? Oh, yeah. She's going to die. Oh, fuck. What, what is she doing? He's here with you. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. oh, shit. Yep, I knew she was gonna die. Is she dead? She's going to die. <gasps> yeah, she's dead. Damn. Come on, Romero. He's got a fucking shotgun. <clears throat> Remember what I said about burning you down? Well, I'm a man of my word. Boink. <laughs> Damn. Well, now they're both dead. 
I think you're smart enough to understand how things work around here, what you can do, what you can do. Somebody's going to fill that vacuum. That's as inevitable as the sun rising I'm in the morning. I'm not your guy. I didn't sign on for any of this. Well, somebody's going to, and I want to be sure that person who fills that vacuum, Dylan, understands the rules. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Romero's putting him in charge? What is he I want tickets to Montreal to fly. We can leave tonight. Will he accept if he leaves Norman alone? I got three tickets. I want you to come. Oh, what the fuck? Got me wow. A I'm so sorry for everything, for how you were born, how I handled it. But as horrible as it was, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything because you're here now and you're beautiful and you're a miracle that someone like you could come out of all that. Holy shit. That was beautiful. Things gonna work in that extra condition. Like, probably can't get Norman. You want me to be in charge? That's what you meant, right? Yeah, maybe, right? You need to know the truth, Norma. Yeah. You can't just let him possibly do it again. If you really love him and you, and you want to protect him, then he needs to take the test. Norma? Did he already do something? Norma? Did he leave? I made this little work for you. I will always love you and we will always be part of each other. Oh, she. <laughs> she caught up. Norman! Really? What the fuck? <laughs> what was he going to do? I don't know. I'm still thinking he's trying to kill himself, but what if he's on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that shit <should> hurt. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? He actually kicked the shit out of her. Oh, fuck. Did you black out? No. Like no. I'm sorry, mother. Why? Because I don't want to be who I am. Why? I don't want to hurt you. I had a blackout the day my dad died. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, shit. Is she? Is she going to tell him? Same person. If, if you kill yourself, I'll be there one step after. Damn. And yet you don't want to put him in a facility. <laughs> You're like, oh. she really hung it over his head that, like, if you die, I'm just right behind you. It's like she uses that creepiness to reel him back in. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They get like weirdly close. Think he's gonna fail? I don't know. I'm wondering like if Let's he go. is able to suppress shut it, shut it down, and he actually passes. Yeah. Do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Have you ever had sex with one of your teachers? Yes. Is he gonna black out for this? Yes. He's getting kind of weird, huh? <laughs> Did you kill Blair Watson? Norman. Oh, fuck. He blacked out. You didn't kill Blair Watson. I did. You did? Yes. You have to keep this a secret. Did you kill Blair Watson? No. Yeah, he blacked out for it. <laughs> he passed. What exactly does that mean? In my opinion, Norman Bates did not kill Blair Watson. Is he going to be aware that he lied? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Is he still in? Yeah, he's still blacked out. They make his eyes look darker look during eye. these, huh? It's not the end, right? Yeah. It is? <laughs> wow, why is it so short? 
So two seasons in a row, Romero's like, here's the story. <laughs> <laughs> that scene with the polygraph test, that was awesome. I was not expecting that. Me either. I thought he was just going to fail and then Dylan was going to be like, I'll do this if you <laughs> let it. I don't know. But no, Romero wanted to do the right thing. <laughs> but it's. I think for an agreement with Dylan of this magnitude, he was probably willing to bend. Excuse me. Bend the rules. Yeah. But Norman did that was fascinating. So he got into the zone. The his mom that mom version appears and he like passed the guilt he like passed the responsibility of that and like gave it to this other chunk of his himself and he's able to pass yeah i wonder if um if he will if later on in the show He'll find himself in these situations again and just pass. Or, like, someone's going to be like, I'm pretty sure it's him. And he'll just continue to pass things because he can just shut it off. But I doubt they'll do another polygraph test in the future. Like, or in the movie. Like, I'm thinking, like, if they, like, influence that from the movie. Hmm. You know? Yeah. This relationship <laughs> still creeping me out. It's like, in a way, she built this monster uh-huh. like yeah obviously they had like trauma from like the abusive dad mm-hmm. right yeah but in another way like she somehow kind of like she was creepy with him right so in a way she kind of made him this way yeah and she reels him back in by kissing him in the mouth or like changing in front of them and things like that yeah it's a it's disturbing we get really comfortable with how the relationship is most of the time yeah um they like really tone that down from like the first few episodes but then it just like peaks it, yeah like, shows every time its i'm face. like whoa i forgot this was a thing <laughs> right or like she just gets like so weirdly close to him that it's just i don't know it just makes me feel really weird <laughs> um she i don't like the way that she tells him like we're this she says something like we're, we're the, the same, same person, person. Like, it almost seems like she has put this in his mind that they're just connected and i just find that very problematic yeah um, and i don't i don't know why she does that i don't know if she necessarily knows she's doing this because norma really surprises me sometimes because when i think she gets something she doesn't or she really seems like blindsided naive about things so i don't know if she doesn't realize this because of her own trauma but she's definitely playing a role in his weird like codependency from her yeah and and the fact that that part of him that tells him when to kill and what to do is in the form of his mom yeah, like yeah. in a way, yeah, it shows you that she did create him. And yes, she's dealing with her own trauma because she had a fucked up life to begin with. But at the same time, she herself is psycho as fuck. <laughs> so I don't know if in the movie mm-hmm. she's this way too, or like, were they? If, is it based on a real story? I, I don't know. know. I haven't even looked. If it that. is, they're like, if was she like that in real life? Like, <laughs> it's really disturbing. But I feel like, in a way, this is about them too, more than just him. Like this whole time, I thought it was like his story. His story mostly. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they kind of like share the blame. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And. I know he's still technically the main character, but it's a story about two killers because <laughs> she's part of that. Yes. Wait, how many people has she killed? She was only self-defense. Well, no, but one. still, she's hidden his crimes. She enables him. She enables him. Yeah. She and she doesn't mm-hmm. get him help. Yeah. 
which is the main part that she should be doing as a mother. Yes. And I think, and this is where I start like really agreeing with you. The reason why she does not get him help because she, she disguises it as, oh, it's not good for him. He can't do that or whatever. Right. But really mm -hmm. she doesn't want to be alone. Exactly. She is very dependent on him. Her son is her reason for living and all of this stuff. And she refuses to get him the help that he needs because she does not want to be alone. She's a selfish. And that's selfish. Fucking monster herself. Yes. Anything else? No. On that. Okay. <laughs> the Zane thing, I, they really like flipped it on us. Yeah, right. And they got rid of them so fast. They like got rid of nothing. Oops, they got rid of both. <laughs> They got rid of Ford, like nothing. They, bro, uh, Zane, nothing. Uh, what's her name? What's the, what's the I name? forget her name. They didn't say Jody. That. Jody, there just you like go. that. Like they're just. I really thought they were gonna drag it farther out, and it's okay. really just how Dylan is gonna find himself on top. Because Romero wants him to be on top. Yeah. Romero wants his cut. I don't know what is up with Romero. Mm, yeah, he's got like a... He's kind of shady in a way too, right? Well, yeah. no, he is definitely shady. But <laughs> there's something about him keeping like the status quo of that time town going. Yeah. And does he want Dylan to take over Jody's part or Ford's part? And if I think, he does, are they still going to keep the other side? And who's going to take over the other side? I think it's going to be a combination. It's going to be a one, one crime business town with one person the, in charge. And Romero is the silent uh, partner who gets his cut. To Dylan? To Dylan. Because as of right now, Dylan would be the next one. Romero doesn't even have to do anything, right? Yeah. Because it was Jody, Zane, and then um, Dylan was kind of getting on the weird side of Zane, but as far as most of them know, I think Dylan was still like one of the top ones to take orders from. Yeah. Oh, and the Ford people from the security guard, it just seems like that thing was going to fall apart and maybe the <laughs> people from the Ford business are going to look for work. Yeah, most likely. I mean, that guy went like straight for the jewelry. I, I thought there was gonna be like a whole like mess of like whoever's in charge, and there was gonna be like a hierarchy and stuff was gonna happen. But no, it just seems like that was that. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next season. Now that uh, Norman mm -hmm. is, do you think? Okay, so I thought after this he was gonna be fully aware that he did did these things. Mm -hmm. But after he blacked out and passed the blame over to Norma, like, is he still going to be aware or is he going to be like, oh, no, it was my mom? I don't know. <laughs> right? I really hope he's, like, actually aware now and, like... He realizes he's using this as a tool to cope and not that he's actually tricking himself. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, I think... I don't know. They have, we have how many more seasons? Three. No, we don't. Is it five it's seasons two. or four? Five. I think. This is season two. Yeah. So we have three, three more. more. They might drag it out. Yeah. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But I can't wait. Yes. Did you have anything else? I'm happy that Emma knows something now. Yeah. That'll keep her around for a little longer. There was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, the Christine lady. <laughs> 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 there goes Norma's only friend. <laughs> Yeah. I really thought that um, she was shady, and I judged her, like, harshly. You know how she said, um, let's see what happens with that uh, council position? You think yeah. she's not going to get it anymore? Or? Well, she has She was technically position. working already. Yeah. I wonder if... If they're going to take it from her? Meant... Oh. Do you think word got around already that Ford wasn't there? Because the only reason why Norma had that position was because Ford was up their ass, up the mayor's ass about it. Oh, you're right, huh? So maybe she already knew that Ford died, oh. and the news hasn't quite like hit. That She's would explain that. Everything. That would explain, right? Maybe that would explain it. Um, you reminded me of something, and I was gonna say one more thing. Hold on. Oh, do you think Emma 
will eventually know everything about Norman. Yes. You think so? I think so. Do you think it'll be one of those things where, like, she finds out at the very end? Or she will know it and she will somehow, for some reason, just stay quiet? I think she'll find out maybe not all the way at the end. And she'll struggle with it. And I'm not sure what will happen after that. But I'm sure she'll struggle with, like, what the do? information, what to do. Um, maybe she gets killed. Or she flips on him, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have nothing else. <laughs> Me either. Uh, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, let us know. Um, just drop it down in the comments. Uh, make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.